Hello and welcome. For those of us doing telemedicine, telehealth, we want to see a way to sign, manage, assign, and do everything we want with documents in a virtual manner. That is, without having to be physically at the office, without having to physically sign a, a printed document. How can we do that? Um, I'm going to demonstrate this from uh, our EMR for outpatient use, which is ECW. Uh, I just want to say that these principles can apply to any uh, EMR, and there must be a feature in your EMR that allows this uh, to be done. I, I would just say be familiar with uh, your particular EMR and its specific options. So let's get started, and I'll show you how we're doing this. Uh, this is, by the way, done through the EMR of ECW Web, uh, the uh, uh, older version of ECW, eClinical Works, does not have uh, the full range of options that's available on the web option. Uh, so I'll be showing you what we have on the web option. So uh, we start out by this uh, picture here or this document that we've got from an insurance company about a test patient. Um, so this is obviously a fictional insurance company sending a fictional letter uh, about a fictional uh, patient. Uh, so if you are an insurance uh, CEO or um, something like that, reading this or reviewing this YouTube video, don't get um, worked up about it. This is just fictional. Um, so this is uh, obviously the letter that you got. Now you open it from your document uh, jelly bean um, and you're uh, looking at each document successively. This is the first one that you're uh, reading the letter um, and it talks about this patient um, and uh, you know how uh, the insurance company is denying the prescription for the medication and uh, they want to give uh, or they want to recommend another medication for you to uh, prescribe instead. And uh, there is a signature that is required. So how can you do that without printing the document? So uh, simply use the options that are listed here. This one that has like a, a feather is the signature one. And if you hover over any of those, you will find you know, what, it, what it does basically. So here is the signature tab. You put it here. The location is not extremely important. I'll show you why it's not extremely important in a second. Let's say you sign your name, um, add signature, the reason it's not extremely important is because you can simply do this and change the location of the signature to make it on the dotted line. And here, when you're writing the date, um, you can you usually you, you you really have to type, not um, not handwrite it. So the way to do that is by clicking more tools, free text, and you open a box. Again, location is not important, uh, but and I'll show you why, because you can move the box, the dialog box. So now that you've done it, you can move this box however you see fit and put it on the dotted line. Now, after you've done that, don't forget to save the document. So you save it here. All right, it's saved. And then what you could do is to either send it to your uh, nurse uh, or medical assistant to do it. So you change the assignment here and say, please fax, or you could do it yourself. Now, how to do it yourself is I'll show you. You, you just you unfortunately cannot do it from this screen. It would be great if you could do it from this screen, but there isn't a fax option here, as you can see. Uh, and different EMRs are different, but basically you're going to go to the hub on this EMR and pull up the patient document from the hub. And when you are in patient document and you click on it, okay, it shows here the signature and the date saved. You just need to be sending it by fax, send fax. So you click this and it will tell you basically all the options that you want. You can uh, click by doctor uh, or by insurance or by pharmacy or whatnot. And then you, you, or you can simply just write the fax number here and send it. And I tried this and it works perfectly fine. Um, so all that works well. 
I hope this helps a little bit shed some light on how you can fax and manage and do all the documents through your EMR system. And please uh, comment, share, like, and uh, ask any questions that you want in the comment section below. Thank you. I hope you have a great day.